Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my huge channel. Today I wanted to come back to gouache and today I will paint a portrait using those paints. First of all I will start with a sketch because I really couldn't figure out what I want to paint for a while now. So I was sketching a lot just to find the perfect subject and I decided I will do those parrots. I done them in pencil but I ended up painting over the sketch and I really glad I did because I love how those turn out. Anyway, I decided to use uh, this parrot motif in my final piece where I'll be drawing and painting a portrait. So yeah, I also created this color scheme that I will be using for the final piece to know what colors and what tones I want to use later. So now we move to the second one, on the other hand this one has a little bit more muted colors, it's a little bit more delicate and personally I like the first one better just because it looks more like a picture, it looks really natural and the second one has a little bit more pastel like colors, maybe that's why it looks for me at least like a cartoon character just a little bit. I'm curious what about you, which one do you like better? Hey guys, this is the sketch I'll be painting over today, tonight. And the parrots are so, so cute. I already did the sketch, as you can probably tell. Uh, I hope you don't mind, I think it's proportionate, so I think we can start painting now. So now I am covering the entire paper with the even layer of paint and I'm waiting for the paper to absorb everything because if I do it now the paper won't budge or bend later on which will make my painting experience much much easier. Can you see this? It's like two tone. It, here is blue and purple is at the bottom. So cool.
now I'm starting painting the face as you can see I'm sticking with those blue and purple tones you will know in a second why I chose those colors but it will be contrasting with the rest of the painting really beautifully so just wait and see I am really struggling with mixing all the colors on her face and um, the skin tones like the underpainting is picking through the skin tone and she looks really dead basically so I'm trying to make her skin more pinkish and more alive and never had this struggle before and uh, this is something new So now when the face is done, I moved to the body. Actually, I don't really know what to say about it. I made a lot of layers and it took a lot of time because each layer had to be dry, like fully dry, because otherwise everything would go really muddy. Um, but otherwise, um, yeah, it's just very, very time consuming. Now it comes my favorite part, the parrots. Uh, those are so so adorable, the one I'm making right now. It's in shadow so the green is a little bit more muted. Um, I achieved this color which actually is so so beautiful. I mixed this purple with forest green and it came out like this. It is just so so moody and it matches the entire like background and colors of this painting perfectly. And the second one, on the other hand, is a little bit more vibrant. I used this beautiful neon green and I juxtaposed it with these purples and pinks. I think it just looks perfect. I really like how it came together and the second parrot with those vibrant colors just tied everything together. Love the composition, love the colors, uh, the birds are so so cute. I am simping a little bit for it but I just can't help it, it's so so cute. Okay, so guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you liked my painting. If you did, please consider staying with me for a little longer. If you haven't, don't be evil, keep your mouth shut and I will see you in the next one.